Originally designed to be its own station, after discussing with U.S. counterparts, the Soviets decided to add their new station, Mir, to International Skylab. The Mir module would become the base block for the entire IS complex. The DOS-7 provided additional living quarters for resident crews and contained environmental systems, early attitude control systems, and a set of engines to allow the station to maintain its orbit autonomously. In February of 1986, the Mir module was lifted into orbit by the Buran. The module was based on hardware developed as part of the Salyut program and consisted of a step cylinder main compartment and a spherical node module, which served as an airlock and provided ports to which four of the station's expansion modules were berthed to and to which a Soyuz, TKS, or Progress spacecraft could dock. While Mir approached the International Sky Lab, Salyut 4 and Salyut 6 undocked and moved away from the station. The Mir complex then docked with Unity. Once Mir had docked, Salyut 6 and Salyut 4 redocked with the forward port on the Mir.
Over the next several years, additional modules were added to the Mirdod, starting in November 1989 with the Cavant. In May 1990, Cristal was added, which would give extra space for docking. In May 1995, Spectre joined the station, and its four solar panels added extra power generation capacity. In April 1996, Priroda, with its array of scientific capabilities, became the final module to dock to the Mir multiport node. By the time the Mir complex was completed, China had reached out to the US and Soviet counterparts to speed up their space program. While the Chinese developed their own rockets, the Tiangong module design, which had already been in work since the early 90s, was ready to be launched aboard the Buran in 1999. Unlike the space lab, the Taiyangong had its own maneuvering system and was released from the Baran's cargo bay away from the station and autonomously guided itself to the port on the Rush. Shuttle and Buran flights, often overlapping, kept the station resupplied, while the Soviets also sent supplies and crews aboard Soyuz, Progress, and TKS craft. In 2001, China launched its first spacecraft, the Shenzhou, to the station and brought Taikonauts to join cosmonauts and astronauts aboard the station. International Skylab was now considered complete. With all of the modules docked, 
it would be the place for cosmonauts and taikonauts and astronauts to conduct scientific research and long duration stays. It was until an unfortunate event spelled the end for International Skylab.